Okay, I'm going to try to keep this short. Uh, let me turn this out here. You see how this is 17, 18.3 watts. Well, no, volts. Over here, these are volts. And then over here is 0 0.01. You see how that's fluctuating? The battery is at 11.40 volts. Okay. Um, you see the wattage too. So now that we understand that part of it, let's talk about, let's turn this on, what we're actually experimenting with. Okay. Back here is the battery. And I am now taking that battery running into this Renogy DC to DC charger in and then it's coming out here going back up as we did the other way and put it into the solar panels now you know this wire right here that doesn't the Renogy doesn't come on unless you put it into this the D cord D plus cord and um, that's going to the positive side of the battery so that turns that on but let's go back up here because I had to add the solar in there that's why I'm getting the little power that I'm at so let's go down here and look this solar is consuming 23.8 watts of power for those who need to see it up close Okay, so that solar is on. Let's turn it off. So we're going to unplug it. So now let's go back up here, get a good look at this, and we see where the battery is. Okay, we also see that the voltage coming in from the energy is at 13.7. Okay, so let's go back down here, turn this on, and we're going to plug that in. Okay, plug in it, come on. Okay, that's plugged in. Okay, so now we're climbing. We are now climbing. We went to 20. So let me get a better look at that, okay? So, okay. I put a, so I can just turn this on and off without unplugging it with one hand. And we're gonna go back up here and look at this, turn this off so I can now just turn it on. And since that's a very uh, veritable switch, it'll, it'll slightly change what I'm doing here since it won't go to full capacity. But let's watch what happens. So we got 13.7. We got 11.49 in the battery, which means the battery is low. So let's turn that on. And look at that. We're now up on that veritable switch. Look at it, go to 20. 18, it turned over. So as soon as it turned over, it drained some of the power to go into the battery. And just with that one solar cell, which I'm gonna hook up the rest of them to complete this, we are charging that battery. Let's turn it back, turn it on. I'm gonna turn it down just a little. And it just clicked over, so it's too low. Look at that, 13.7. That's what that energy is putting out, 13.7, which is not enough to turn over this MPPT charger. But as soon as I put that one solar, turn it on, look at that, That just that one. And you can see the battery starting to charge. Just wanted to point that out as an experiment. Again, like I said, my solar is in my basement. 
and this right here is not even a finished product because we have much more to do with it but some of it is prioritary and I'm not showing the rest of it so I just wanted to show you how we do our experiments here and I'm going to be cycling this battery again which I did in some of my other exper uh, experiments with this Renogy just to see how well it does or how well it doesn't do. That's about it. All right, I'm out.